hello everyone and uh, welcome to my channel in this video we are going to look at the solutions for question number five for biology uh, 2018 for gce examinations this is uh, question number five and question number five had uh, figure 5.0 so we have five uh, figure 5.0 here so we can see that uh, the figure itself has got a pedigree diagram and the question says figure 5.0 shows inheritance of red green color blindness in generation of two families y and D, z so we have family y and family z so uh, here we have the key the shaded regions are showing a red green color blind male uh, unshaded box uh, square we have uh, normal vision male uh, the circle which is shaded is uh, representing red green colorblind female and the unshaded uh, circle is uh, representing normal vision female so let's now look at the questions which were uh, asked on uh, uh, this part so we'll start with uh, our first uh, question which is uh, asking us to say which letter in figure 5.0 responds to a second filial generation offspring so we first start with our family tree so the start of the family tree will be the parents so the parents then will have offspring and this offspring will be our first generation f1 then we can see that we had the j and k from family y and z uh, getting married and then having of uh, children also so the children which now they have this will be f2 so from the, our diagram here we can see that uh, the second figure generation we have a and m so we can choose any letter so here we'll simply go with the l so that was the solution to the first uh, part so in terms of so the start will be the parents then first generation second generation that is how you follow a pedigree diagram then uh, our next question was uh, uh, b and uh, b says using symbols uh, xr uh, capital with the x uh, small r determine the alleles for red green color blindness for a normal site from the pedigree diagram in uh, figure 5.0 so here we are trying to find the allele which will show normal sight. So we want to see which allele will actually give color blindness. So here for one, the allele, we have been given these symbols to determine the allele. So for color blindness, it will be XR because it's a recessive inheritance. Then for normal vision, then the, so that was the first part. Then let's look at uh, number two. Uh, B2 so B2 is saying uh, normal site so for normal site it will be XCR that will give us uh, the normal site so then we uh, now move on to the next uh, question so the next question now is uh, C and for question number C it's saying uh, predict the genotypes of uh, j and d k so we need to go back to the diagram and d predict j and d k so when we come back to our diagram here our pedigree diagram we first start with the our offspring to assume what they are so the ones which are shaded are normally easy to predict because uh, sex link characteristics will always have a recessive gene so for males this one will be x y and this one will be x x now since uh, k we already know that uh, this one is colorblind it means that uh, these will have um, this one has a recessive gene which is uh, r now for uh o we know that uh, this one can either be heterozygous or homozygous so we'll be able to tell this from the offspring so it means that here uh, they are able to produce the uh, offspring which are normal so mean that the mother has uh, a normal gene for normal site so mean that one of the x's is uh, a capital r then uh, here this uh, individual is uh, 
xr xr so that means that uh, one of the x's might have come from the father then this other x came from the mother so I mean that this one will fall under here so that is how we are able to now predict so you will go backwards you know that this offspring always the uh, one comes from the mother the other one comes from the father so that's why this one will now have uh, xr x with a small r so that is how we can predict uh, the offspring uh, the genotypes so let's now write the genotypes under our solutions there so we are saying for j it is uh, x with a capital r so this one is the heterozygous then for genotype k we have x small r with also a y so that is the so those are our solutions to our question number c so that is how we write our genetic uh, solutions for our part c so next we now move on to the next uh, question so this is our next question which is question number d and d says using uh, using the genotypes of offspring j and k in c above show using a genetic diagram the inheritance of red green color blindness of offspring l and D m so when we are writing our genetic diagram uh, we need to follow uh, about uh, five steps so the first step we write is the parental uh, phenotypes so we write parental phenotype The physical characteristics of the parents so for j that is a normal normal uh, vision female married to uh, k and k is uh, red green color blind Uh, blind male okay so that is our step number one then the next step is to write the parental genotype so the genotypes we'd already uh, gotten the solutions from uh, question number C so for the female it was X R capital and the recessive for the male and y so under the parental genotype do not put uh, an x only put the genotype only uh, the phenotype so this here is the we can also put here to say this is the mother and this is the father okay so our next step will now be to write the gametes So here we have X R. We circle to show that it's a cell. The R there. And also here X small R circle. Also here with the Y, we also circle. Then our next step is now to show the random fertilization, which will now give us see, the offspring. The offspring genotype. So we first cross this one to show random fertilization with this one. Then we have XR small r. So this one also has a chance of fertilizing this one, which will be XR with the Y. Then uh, this one has a chance of fertilizing this one, which will be X small r, X small r. Then also we have uh, this one and uh, that one which will give us a uh, x uh, r and uh, y so next we write is the offspring phenotypes so for this one will be normal uh, female 
and this one will be normal male then we have uh, red green color blind female then this uh, phenotype shows uh, also red green Red, green, color blind, color blind, male. So this now shows us eh, our genetic eh, cross. So already here now we can get our letters. So this is uh, the one which is now showing the L and the M. So for the female, it was uh, L. And this is here to show the M. While well, we have the two which are shaded. So this is how we can use a genetic cross to show the offspring which are there. So we already saw that uh, this one, uh, J and the K, were the uh, first generation. So we can say F1 and also F1. Then here we can say F2 and the F2. So this now completes our genetic cross. So these are the solutions for the question number five for GCE 2018 biology paper two. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and also subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any new videos which i upload thank you so much i'll see you again in the next video